Hi, we're Ron and Deb, and we want to take a few minutes to talk to you about something that's very important to us, and that's the small group ministry. This last year has been difficult at times with uh, isolation and just being separated from our family, our friends. The uh, church was closed down here for several months, so we weren't able to come together to worship together. And I know some people have had to work from home. Their offices have been closed. So their music communication with their coworkers through was through Zoom or text or a phone call or, or any, any type of communication there. And we're not created to be alone. In the Bible, in the creation, it talks about God saw that it was not good for Adam to be alone. So he needed fellowship. So in the, we, as we read in Acts, we see where the churches met in small groups. They met in the temple courts. They met in homes to worship and fellowship together. And I, as I look, one of the uh, main small groups that I see in the Bible was Jesus and his disciples. There was a group of about 120, but Jesus picked these 12 to spend time with, to worship with them, to minister to them, to teach them, just to be in communion with them and fellowship with them. As in the book, uh, The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren, I have some quotes I want to read to you. It says, God intends for us to experience life together. The Bible calls this shared experience fellowship. When it comes to fellowship, size matters. Smaller is better. You can worship with a crowd, but you can't fellowship with one. For this reason, every Christian needs to be involved in a small group within their church, whether it's a home fellowship group, a Sunday school class, or a Bible study. This is where a real community takes place, not in the big gatherings. If you think of your church as a ship, the small groups are the lifeboats attached to it. Small groups coming together for fun, for fellowship, for getting into our Bibles and really learning what the Bible has to say about our day-to-day -day experiences and how to conquer them, for an opportunity to pray out loud, to learn how to pray, how to intercede for our friends, and how to see and rejoice with those that have answers to those prayers. We have had an opportunity to build friendships and we have had an opportunity to serve together, to serve together. A healthy small group equals a healthy church. When Ron and I first came to Omaha, we didn't have any family here and we counted on the small group communities of our church to be our family, to, teach, to encourage us, to pray for us, to help us grow in the Word. And today, Tom and Deb and Valerie are here to share why they believe small group ministry is important. Well, we are very thankful for the opportunity to be with you today. Um, I'm Debbie and my husband, Tom, and uh, just wanna let you know how very grateful we have been for the opportunity to be a part of Calvary for almost 38, 39 years now. And during that time, we have always participated in a uh, Bible study group of uh, different sorts throughout all the years. We, I have started at Calvary when my children were very young. <clears throat> and I had a wonderful woman's group that helped me um, give me that meat that I needed when I was just a baby Christian. So I was able to grow and also have that time with other adults that I needed support. Um, and just prayers, that support with prayers, that um, people that really shared my joys, my sorrows, um, just the community of believers and feeling a part of Calvary, being able to do outreach within um, the community as well, whether we go Christmas caroling or we do um, uh, Christmas cards, we go um, and have had the opportunities to come together for giving and uh, financially as well. But it's just wonderful being a part of the, the church in Calvary rather than just coming and going to church and going home, but actually feeling a part of Calvary. And I've benefited greatly. And it brings to mind uh, the scripture in Hebrews that we do not need to neglect our meeting together as some people do, but to encourage one another, especially now that the day of His return is drawing near. I'm Tom, and just wanted to share a little bit about uh, 
what small groups has, has meant to me. And the first thing that I think of is, is family. Uh, it's nice to come together as a, as a smaller group, just like you do in your own personal family, but here it's the family of God, and we can connect with one another as, as with that very common faith that we all have that we know we've got a good Father that's, that's looking after us. And that's very important because God desires us to, to grow closer to one another and share with one another both the good times and the bad times. And that's where we've been able to join together and celebrate with each other, celebrate and then also really pray for one another when things are tough. And we all know that at times things are tough. And it's wonderful to have that support group around us that we can share with one another. And that's where I've also grown in my own faith, a little bit being able to share because as most men, we tend to close up a little bit. But in a small group, I've been able to share my hurts as well as celebrate my successes in both my own and my wife's and our family. So it's been a blessing and I, highly recommend it to anyone to grow closer to God, grow closer to your other family members here at Calvary. It'll be a blessing. Well, my name is Valerie, and I was asked to share a little bit about small groups and why they're important to me. I guess the main reason that small groups are important to me is that I want to be known, and I know that in my relationship with Christ, He knows me, and he wants me to know Him. And one of the ways that we know Christ better is through small groups and allowing the small group to know us so that we can be known. And that's a desire of everybody's heart to be known and to be accepted for who they are. And so that's important to get together in a small group. You don't have that in a church on Sunday mornings when you're all there and you're sitting in your pew and I don't know about you but I come to church most of the time with my best foot forward and my happy face on and you know my makeup's all on and everything and this is not really being known and so God knows the inner peace of us and He wants us to know Him more fully. And we can know Him more fully when we are in a small group and other people know us more fully and we know other people more fully. And so this is the main reason that I want to be in a small group and that I experience in a small group. Okay, the second reason is the fun and the fellowship and um, just it, we have a blast together. And that's, and that's really fun. Okay, but that's not the main reason. Okay, and the third reason, which is also not the main reason, but the third reason that I wanna be in a small group is because God has given each of us giftings, okay? And we get to practice those giftings in the small group. Some of us, like myself, are a little bit timid, okay, a lot timid, in a large group, okay? And so because of that, I need the opportunity to practice my giftings in a small group, okay? And that's another reason that small groups are very important because God has given us all giftings, but we don't always have the opportunity to practice those giftings. And so because of that, I wanted to join a small group. So I want to invite you all to join a small group let yourself grow in Christ, let yourself be known, let yourself have fun and fellowship, and let yourself practice the giftings God has given you. Thank you so much for this opportunity to share with you. And we love you and we welcome you in the small groups. We wanna thank Tom and Deb and Valerie for sharing their testimonies with us this morning. And we hope what they said encourages you to become part of a small group. Our small groups are the church. They're not a program of the church, they are a church. and. In Rick Warren's book, he talks about how his church grew to the size it is through small groups. So our goal is to get everyone involved here at Calvary, to be part of a small group. Uh, so we do pray that you'll just seek God in, in what He wants you to do, whether He wants you to host a small group, 
uh, lead a small group or just you just need to gr uh, grow in your faith by being part of a small group. If you feel you want to be a part of a small group, you can go on, on our website online and you can sign up to, to be part of a small group and we'll be in contact with you there. Uh, in closing, uh, I want to read from Acts uh, 2 where it says, They devoted themselves to teaching, fellowship, and prayer, and the Lord added to their numbers those who were being saved. So thank you for your time and God bless.